Oh, okay. Welcome, everybody. And uh, welcome to the uh, E2E um, event. And uh, yeah, okay. We were just talking about Barcelona, our Citrix event, uh, a few weeks ago. And um, today I'm here. My name is Ralf Stocker. I'm a systems engineer in uh, Germany for the northern and eastern region of the uh, Republic and uh, together with me today is my colleague Jürgen Wandt and uh, what we're doing today is we we'll, would like to talk about Barcelona, we would like to talk about the news and the new product and the new tech previews uh, we have. <coughs> so we have a lot of slides and we have a lot of demos for you so let's start and uh, see what we can um, present and what we can tell from Barcelona. Okay, first start we are with our Zen server. You know all the Zen server, it's the hypervisor um, of our company and um, yeah, it's one of the biggest three hypervisors in the world um, and we have a new version, it's uh, Xensover 6.1 and we have a lot of new features in this Xensover um, version. We have live storage migration over pools for example, but we also have, we have a batch conversion of VMware VMs. So if you decide you want to change your, your hypervisor, just go and start with the conversion tool. Um, what we have, we have uh, the complete Citrix Cloud Platform integrations. So you can use all the Citrix Cloud Platform tools and the products with your Xen Server environment, all compatible with Xen Server 6.1. Another new thing, you know all, Xen Client. The Xen Client is the type 1, true type 1 bare metal hypervisor for notebooks and for desktops. Um, Started in uh, May this year, we announced that we uh, had an acquisition of uh, Virtual Computing, that's uh, the product NX Top, and over the last few months we integrated the product into our new Xen Client Enterprise. And uh, what we presented in Barcelona, we have a new, complete Xen Client uh, product. Um, for the moment it's Tech Preview and the general availability is in December this year. It's version 4.5. And uh, let's talk about the changes which we did in uh, Zen Client Enterprise. For example, we have now the complete Alterbox support in it. What we also have, we have the complete support for the third generation CPUs of Intel. So the complete, um, the complete compatibility of uh, the new hardware which you can buy. What we also have, we have native Windows 8 support. That's from my point of view, one of the most important features because Microsoft has new versions of Server 2012 and Windows 8 and um, we are just um, at the point that we can say we can support these new versions of uh, the operating system from Microsoft. We have an availability for multi-language support in the same client. That's a feature uh, which was very important, uh, which uh, many of our customers and, and partners told us that we should implement this into the same client. So, for the moment, we have six languages and the native English language support in the complete Xen client. That means that we have the support of the language into the engine, that's the Xen client engine on your notebook, the true type 1 hypervisor, and the, um, the, the back end part in your data center, the synchronizer from the Xen client. We, have, uh, we did something in, uh, in the back, so we have support for the NetScaler. Um, in the past, you have to put your <coughs> synchronizer, so the back end part of the Xen client, you have to put into your DMZ to access it with uh, port 443 SSL. And what we have now, you can uh, work together with your NetScaler, so you can place your synchronizer from the Xen client product in your corporate data center and um, just access it with the um, NetScaler device. So it's SSL offload and SSL bridging. What we also have, we have a VLAN tagging into the client and uh, into the synchronizer policy engine. So that's uh, something new we introduced with uh, Xen Client version 4.1. Um, I think it was October or September this year. So um, we have a complete VLAN tagging support into the Xen Client. So you can make your corporate networks and the multiple networks in the Xen Client uh, very secure. You can define it very secure. What else? Very important, we have dual monitor support. So we implemented a complete new stack into the Xen client to handle monitor. It, uh, the look and feel of the configuration um, of the configuration desk in the Xen client is like the look and feel you know from the Windows operating system. 
So complete new stack where we will support a lot of docs and um, a lot of multi-monitor support. Um, for example, to split the, the uh, complete image and uh, to have multiple desks available. We also have we have uh, done some changes in uh, the complete engine in the kernel, so we improved uh, yeah the hypervisor boot time. So it's um, from my point of view, I tested it a few days ago, and it's three to four times faster uh, than the same client version 4.1 in the past. What we also did, we have uh, uh, some news on the Xen client XT. We have the Xen client enterprise for the normal corporate network, and we have the Xen client XT. The Xen client XT is a very high secure platform for a Xen client. Um, it uh, makes it possible that you uh, can split your complete network, so you have a high secure Xen client um, environment where what you can use. And uh, what we did there, we have central management capabilities. We have a lot of support for the new processors, and uh, what we also have, very important of course, we have an SDK. So you can um, you can go around and play with the SDK and um, yeah, get some nice tools and a nice um, consumer consumerization, and um, you can go and uh, make your own stand client, though it fits to your own organization, to your own um, to your own things. Okay. The Microsoft partnership, that's uh, also a most uh, very important thing we talked about in Barcelona. The Microsoft partnership uh, is, I think, 20 years or so old. We're working together with Microsoft uh, very, very hard uh, on the new products and on the new support. And what we see, we have 80% growth on uh, the Hypervisor, um, Hyper-V product for Microsoft with our Xen desktop. So, um, that's the reason why we uh, thought over the partnership with Microsoft and uh, what we have, we have a support for Windows Server 2012, as I said, uh, also for Windows 8 support in the, in the client OS. And um, we have an improved VM density with Hyper-V. So you can use Xen Desktop, as you know, not always with Xen Server or with vSphere. You can also use it with Hyper-V and have a very good uh, result in the performance. And um, we have VHDX support, we have native app v support, uh, questions later, sorry, because we can talk about it after the session, um, because we have very limited time and we have a lot of slides and demos, so just go on. Go. Okay, what we also uh, else have, we have Xen Desktop Next and we have Xen App Next, which supports Server 2012, so uh, let's talk about um, a few minutes later um, what we have new on that. And um, we also have is Windows 8 support complete in our product, and um, we have a native UI design for all our products, not only Xen or Xen Desktop, we have also the complete UI design for GoToMeeting, GoToMyPC, for ShareFile, for the AppDNA context. So that's very important because uh, it's very secure to have Windows 8 support in the future. When we're talking about Windows 8, we have to look that we um, are available, that we have availability of a receiver. The receiver, one of our most important features on the on all the products, the client product is um, available now on the Windows App Store. So you can uh, just deploy a Windows 8 and uh, set up your receiver, and you're able to access your complete Xen desktop, Xen app, whatsoever environment with the Citrix receiver. Okay, let's talk about mobile work styles and let's talk about cloud services. <laughs> Someone of you, of, of you know this uh, slide already, so um, what we have here, the mobile work step, that's um, translated what you know about Xen Client, Xen App, Xen Desktop, and on the other hand we have the cloud services, uh, which are, uh, which is Cloud Portal and Cloud Stack, Cloud Portal Manager, all the things which depends on the cloud. So let's talk about people, a very important feature also, but um, what we have there, we have the GoToMeeting. And um, you all know GoToMeeting is an online product of Citrix Online, and um, very good to make um, to make meetings, online meetings. What we have, we have an, uh, we have an HD Faces support for the iPad, so you can just go with your iPad and create a meeting and um, see the complete um, HD webcam. So you can uh, talk to each other and have a very good and, and very um, high secure and high performance uh, meeting with iPad. What's new? The function of the presenter mode on the iPad. 
So we have integrated um, into the GoToMeeting application on the iPad, we have included uh, the share file and drop <coughs> ability, so that you can make yourself a presenter on the iPad and just load your share file uh, context, so for example a PowerPoint or a PDF or something else, and present it via the iPad. You don't need to go and, and take your laptop or your PC to create a meeting, just be mobile and just get your iPad to make a presenter mode. And um, that's available, you can download it from uh, the App Store, just try on your iPad, it's um, a <coughs> good solution, I think. Just present from anywhere, so to say. It's our old story, you know, any, any, any. Simple is better, you all know that, because GoToMeeting is a very simple to use product. Okay, let's talk about data. Uh, that's something we announced in, uh, I think, last year, 2011, Synergy Barcelona, that we, um, that we did the acquisition of um, ShareFile. And, well, the old way to, to, um, to uh, exchange files, for example, is you have the availability to use an email. You can attach an, an, a data item on your email and send it to one of your colleagues, or you use an FTP server, you use USB, for example, USB stick, HD, or something else, or you can use the cloud. But all of that results in the Dropbox problem. Well, the Dropbox, all of you know Dropbox, I think. The Dropbox problem is um, that you that you place your files into the cloud and you don't know where those files physically are stored. So anywhere on this planet, um, I don't know, you don't know. So that's maybe part of the problem. And that's the Dropbox problem. And why do users use Dropbox? They don't use it to um, angry their IT administrator or something else. Users use Dropbox because it's very simple and it's very easy to use. And that's the <coughs> Dropbox problem. Our answer on, on that is the share file product. We have the share file product. How much of you did test the share file product in the last month or a year? Okay, great. Very good. Um, what we announced in Barcelona is uh, something all other vendors are talking about for years now. What we have available now is a complete product with the on-premise enterprise storage support. So you have the complete um, ability to use all the functionality of, of cloud data share file accounts and um, your data is stored on-premise in your private cloud or in your data center or whatever. You have the ability, uh, you have the ability to, to decide if you want to like use your own storage or you use the storage which is provided by Citrix. Uh, we have new on the on-demand sync for Zen Desktop, a very good feature. <coughs> so you have all the data you're using, you, you, you need. Uh, you have it on your iPad, you have it on your laptop, you have it on your desk PC, whatever. whatever. The ShareFile storage zone, uh, very new across the complete uh, world. We have a lot of different data centers and you can mix it also. So you can decide, okay, the, the uh, not problematic data stuff I put in the data center at Citrix and um, the compliance data from my company I put in my own data center. So I leave it there. And um, what's new, we don't announce it in Barcelona, but uh, I, I read about it a few days ago. We have a sharefile.eu center, so it's a complete sharefile center based in, I think, Frankfurt it is. So, a European data center. It's very important for, for a lot of customers here based in, in Europe. Um, so, this is available, I think, by the end of the year, 2012. Sharefile on Promise as a complete product is available today. You can buy it, customer partner can use it, and um, what I can suggest to you, what I recommend you, just test it. As a partner, as a, as a CSP, as a CSA, you have the availability to, to get your own account, get a free account for one year, and um, if you're a customer, you can use it 30 days for free trial and just get the availability of ShareFile and just um, yeah, get the look and feel of ShareFile. It's a very good product. Important with ShareFile is the integration with our other products. So you not have the share file application and uh, can send your files or you can you can work with your files. You can combine it with your Xen app, Xen desktop environment. I'll show this in the live demo uh, a few minutes later. When we're talking about apps, that's the old story. We have the Citrix Procedure as the main client component. You know all this, um, I think. We have it available on 3 billion devices. So um, a lot of platform support for the receiver. And um, that's only some of the 
operating systems we are supporting with our mobile receiver, with our um, Citrix receiver, and it's very important um, that our story goes into a direction where we're really talking about one receiver, because in the past we have a lot of receivers. We have a receiver for web interface, we have a PNH, agent, we have a Dazzle receiver, we had a whatsoever, and uh, what we're going to develop now is the one <coughs> receiver story. So we have only one receiver, one look and feel across all devices and across all um, points we're working with. So the look and feel of the receiver is the same on the Mac and also on the PC and also on the tablet, the same look and feel of the receiver. So the user um, opens the receiver, no matter what device he uses or she uses, and uh, get always the same look and feel of this device. With the receiver we are able to deliver millions of apps and desktops and so on, you know all this, uh, I think it's, it's the old Xen, Xen desktop story. And um, we're primarily talking about Windows applications, but near Windows applications we have a lot of other applications. Um, we're not in the future, we're talking uh, now about iOS applications, we're talking about Android applications and also HTML5 applications. And that's very important to know. What we can do today is we can integrate it into one big picture, and that's our cloud gateway. We have today in our cloud gateway the Windows devices and also the complete um, data application with our share file. And um, what we're doing with the other things like iOS, like Android and HTML5, we're using our new MDX technology. The MDX technology is part of the cloud gateway enterprise and um, it enables you to use iOS applications, native Android applications, and control it and deploy it, <coughs> and deliver it over your central um, managed cloud gateway and your data center. Okay, let's have a look what cloud gateway can do for us. So for that, um, I set up a live demo, and uh, let's have a look <coughs> if it's working. So what we have here is uh, we have a Google Chrome, and um, we're just accessing the HTTPS site. It's uh, our internal test environment. So I'm just logging in here and hopefully type the right password. Okay, that looks fine. And what we see now is that we have a lot of um, desktops available and a lot of applications available. That's, uh, for example, John Frontend, but I think you all know what I'm talking about. And um, what we have here, a lot of applications. Um, well, I have opened the Google Chrome this site because I would, show, would like to show you something. When I start an application, um, something happens now. We have the application into the Google Chrome browser. So we have no need for a uh, receiver, or we have no need for a native receiver installed on this uh, laptop. We do it in the browser as it is an HTML5 receiver. So uh, how many of you tested the HTML5 receiver? Okay, great. Is it just me? I still remember that. <laughs> Again, so yeah. what you can see here, you have a complete ICA session, your complete HDX session into the Google Chrome browser. There's no need for a native receiver. <coughs> so what I would like to say is, uh, if you have a device which is now supported with a native receiver from, from Citrix, you can use just your HTML5 browser and access your complete environment via the browser. And that's something uh, I'm very um, impressed of, that we can do this. Well, didn't we have that with Java? <laughs> okay, Java, Java, Java receiver is something old, which depends on the web interface, so the new one, the future one, is the HTML5. So that's, we got fallback to HTML5, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's switch to the iPad here, and let's see what we can do with our iPad device. So, small desk here. Yep. Everything working fine. No, oh, oh. thank you. Okay. Okay. What I have here is 
I have here also the Citrix receiver. You see it here, and I have also the native applications like GoToMeeting and ShareFile. And if I now tap on the Citrix receiver, I have my applications and my documents integrated in my Citrix receiver. And um, what's now happened, he just accesses the environment, and I have my complete application landscape here, and then my complete uh, desktop landscape on the iPad here. And you all know that, I think, we start a <coughs> Zenap desktop, for example. I think you would like to have a password, yes, that's okay. So, very high secure password. You all read this, I think. And we Okay, what we do now is we open the normal ICA session over the iPad. I think that's something which is uh, which is known, and uh, a lot of people in <coughs> here doing this already. So nothing new. What's new here? Um, it's the mobility pack on our Xenap server, which recognizes that we use a mobile device. So the normal desktop um, is something like that here. You know it all. Okay, we're logging off. And we would like to see what else can the Citrix receiver with the Cloud Gateway do for us. Well, what we're having here, we have not only native Xenap or Xen desktop applications on desktop, we have also mobile apps. And we have here, as you can see, the pharmaceutical app, which is not a normal application in, in the sense of, um, of a Xenap application. It's a native iOS application. And um, now I just have to download the application for the first time from my, from my um, Cloud Gateway. Zip the rip. Now the download starts. And what now happening is that the native iOS application installs on my iPad native. So it's not an application which is uh, provided by Xenap server or something else. It's a native iOS application. And as you can see here, it's installed on native on the iPad. And if I start the application, if I start the application, the application asks me to open the Citrix receiver because the application is managed by the Cloud Gateway. And um, I can only open the application if I um, log in first at my Cloud Gateway with the receiver. So now my credentials are checked. And what happens? Okay, I have the rights to run the application. And um, yeah, I have the native iOS application here and completely controlled over my Cloud Gateway, my central managed Cloud Gateway from my administrator. And um, you can see it here, if I switch to the taskbar, it's a native iOS application here. Okay, so what else can I do with the receiver? I talked about the share file availability and I talked about the share file plugin. And what we have here, we have here some documents. That's my share file account and for example we have a PDF document here and I can take a preview and have a look what's in the document now. Um, I can zoom that. And um, what else can I do? I can open an application. I can open the PDF document. And what's happening now? The Citrix receiver recognizes that my administrator has published um, a PDF Adobe Acrobat reader to me. So what's happening now is he asks me, after my password, Everyone knows the password now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and from my Xenap farm centralized in, in my backend, now uh, the Adobe Acrobat Reader opens with my share file document inside. So I have the ability to completely edit and, and work with my document on my iPad. So a complete mobile work style. Oh, and it's over 3G connection, so it's not uh, a LAN or VLAN connection, it's just a 3G, 3G connection, and I think uh, it's a good, good performance for the 3G connection. Okay, back to our PowerPoint. What do you think? It's a good feature? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make some noise. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I want to hear. Okay. So
So what we can learn from this lesson is that with the Cygnus Cloud Gateway Enterprise, we have the availability to ability to, to not only use Windows apps, we can also deploy native iOS and native Android apps. And we have also the ability to deploy HTML5 and to use HTML5 receiver for our Cloud Gateway and also uh, handle the complete files with our Shafi product. Okay, what else? Uh, we do now in Barcelona is uh, with the Cloud Gateway Enterprise we added two more uh, applications. The first application is AdWork Mail and the second application is AdWork Web. Two native iOS applications, applications which are uh, provided over the Cloud Gateway. And with the first AdWork Mail you have a complete native business um, email, uh, email client complete with your contacts, complete with your calendar, with your email icons, everything integrated and it's in a sandbox. So um, you have the, the um, you have your private side and you have your business side all on one device. And if the administrator decides that you no longer um, no longer have the availability to use your email account, he just clicks in his cloud gateway and disables the account. So you have the option to use it. So there are two applications which can interact. So at Work Web is a native iOS web client, a very secure web client. And in the back we're going to use a micro VPN between the iPad, the Citrix receiver on the iPad or on the Android device, and on the cloud gateway. So that's something from the new MDX technology we're using. So um, what it's good for? It's good for when you have bring your own, for example, you can make a complete, um, a complete switch between uh, your private and your business applications. So no need um, for that when we're talking about work mail, work web, no need for mobile device managing, management or something else, especially when you're using bring your own devices. With the Cloud Gateway, we have a receiver, you have the storefront services, storefront services, which uh, is uh, the next generation of web interface. I think you all heard about it. And uh, we have the content controllers. It's our application controller, which is able to, um, to provide iOS and Android applications and ZES applications and so on. We have the MDX technology, for example, the micro VPN between the iPad and um, our cloud gateway. And we have the well-known gateway services like single sign-on, like um, SSL VPN and so on. Okay, it's available. Um, and it's part of the new Citrix Cloud Gateway Enterprise, not the Cloud Gateway Express. That's important to know. When we look at the complete stack, we have the AdWork Web, AdWork Mail applications, we have the ShareFile Follow Me Data application, we have the GoToMeeting application for collaboration, and we have the Podio, it's a social team collaboration software and, and product, which we also have available now. Why is it named Me at Work? Me is for mobile enterprise. Okay, just to remind you. Okay, that, that's my outlook, it's not important now. Um, <laughs> over here, we have, we're talking about the mobile work states and we're talking now about uh, the cloud services. And I have to go on because we're left only 10 minutes or so, I think. So uh, let's talk about the build path of the cloud services. Then desktop, you all know that the next generation of Zen Desktop and um, you all know our Flexcast model. It's not a product, it's not a license, it's not something you can buy. Flexcast is just a marketing uh, word for our complete application and uh, virtual desktop stack. So <coughs> you all know the hosted shared stack of um, Flexcast, it's Zen App with our terminal services. We have the hosted VDI, it's Zen Desktop, we have Stream VHD with provisioning services and the local VM with our Zen client technology. The new thing on that is the remote PC feature. feature. With the remote PC feature you're able to, to also add physical PCs to your complete Zen Desktop environment. So you have no need to um, access a virtual PC uh, which is based on a hypervisor or so. You can use your remote PC, you can use your physical PC. That's very good for customers which uh, bought uh, a lot of PCs maybe uh, three or four months ago and I want to exchange, um, but what they also want is they want to make uh, VDI desktops and uh, they want to make it available on the iPad and uh, also make available the mobile work styles. So you only install in a physical PC uh, <coughs> and, and VDI of Zen Desktop 
and you can work with your physical PC on your physical PC, but also outside on the iPad or on um, some other mobile device, which is available with our Citrix receiver. We have the Citrix Service Provider Program when we're talking about cloud, and uh, that's also very important because the CSP program is something which is um, which is uh, developed a few years ago, and um, yeah, it becomes very important because CSP, I think it's, it's part of the future now, because we're talking about cloud and we're talking about that private clouds and private uh, data centers are no longer necessary, so we have to talk about cloud providers and our CSP model, our CSP program is very important on that. So what we would like to do is we would like to um, deliver Windows as a true cloud service. Not only to deliver Windows, not only to, to deliver applications, we want to deliver it as a true cloud service. And that's what uh, Project Avalon stands for. Project Avalon is something we announced in uh, San Francisco earlier this year on our US Synergy Summit event in, in May. And um, Project Avalon, we split it into two parts. We split it into Project Excalibur and Project Merlin. And the first part, which we announced in Barcelona, is Project Excalibur. The Project Excalibur is next Zen, next Zen desktop. So that's the future of our Xen and Xen desktop suite. And um, we completely redeveloped uh, the FlexCast stack for simplified service management. We reinvented the HDX protocol with some super codec inside for very good performance, um, very good transport of our video and audio files and so on. We have a complete uh, redeveloping of our management consoles. So the management console of Project Excalibur is no longer Xen Desktop here and Xen Desktop there. So it's one console and it's one product. Xen and Xen Desktop is one product in Project Excalibur. We have automated uh, <coughs> steps inside the consoles which, um, which enables other multi app publishing and um, reduces the complete deployment time. So we have a very good step um, forward into the enterprise business there. We also reinvented the and uh, the Edge side story, so the complete Edge side story is integrated there in Project Excalibur into uh, our desktop um, director. So you have the complete availability of, of um, data which is now available and the complete availability of historical data. So that's something a lot of customers and partners are asking for years since we uh, announced the end of life for our classical resource manager in Xenet. Okay, Project Excalibur Tech Preview 1 is available since yesterday, since the 1st of November. So just download it, just play around with it, it's a tech preview, always remember that. But it gives you an impression and look and feel of our new product, of our new next generation Xenet Xen desktop. When we're talking about Project Merlin, that's the next part of the complete Avalon product. It's something has to do with the complete self-service provisioning and the complete cloud stack integration of our products, Xenap, Xen Desktop. As we can see here, we have complete project Merlin, Xen Desktop, Xenap Next, the cloud style service orchestration and the cloud stack integration. So that's the next step, I think, the tech preview of Merlin, I don't know, quarter one of uh, yeah, the first, first uh, quarter of 2013 or so, I don't know. Okay, Project Avalon to deliver Windows as a true cloud service. Very important to remember. When we're talking about cloud services, we have to talk about how we deliver the services. And we, talk, we have to talk about how to bring it to the customers and partners. Citrix NetScaler is, as my colleague said, it's like a Swiss knife. The Citrix NetScaler is not only an advanced access gateway or enterprise access gateway, it's so much more. It's a load balancer, it's a global server load balancer, it's a, it's a LAN accelerator, and we have a lot of features uh, built into the Citrix NetScaler. And um, what we have available now is the NetScaler 10 version. That's something new also from Barcelona. And um, we're in the number one of internet, internet delivery system um, with the Citrix NetScaler, so that's a very important part of the complete cloud, uh, of the complete cloud 
um, history of the complete cloud story. So not only put extend up or extend desktop or project Merlin, project X category or so put in your data center, also put a net scaler on uh, the network side. So you have a very good performance and very good features of load balancing, making things high availability and so on. <coughs> Silvix Net Scaler 10 enables us with scale up, scale in, scale out. We have the scale up, we have the pay as you grow model. So that's something no other vendor offers at the moment. You only can change your license key and you have the next step, the next point of uh, a bigger appliance. And you have scale in with our SDX technology. So multi-platform, multi-tenant <coughs> system uh, with our net scaler. And you can scale out. So you have an add-and-go clustering um, with our Citrix net scaler up to 32 times. Okay. I have to go past through this through the slides and uh, yeah we're talking about mobile work styles and cloud services and we're talking about um, work anywhere and made anywhere and uh, that's very important to remember because uh, that's something we would like to deliver we would like to create a world where people can play and work from anywhere and that that's what we're developing and back from our products and that's what we're thinking about when developing new products and new versions Okay, one more thing at the end. Um, very proud to present Jürgen Wandt, one of my colleagues. Um, and um, yeah. yeah, okay, tell us something. Thank you a lot. You. Only two minutes left. Uh, it's um, it's not a real um, technical more thing. It's uh, it's um, it's a business uh, more thing. It's um, our new alliance uh, with uh, Cisco. Um, you all, I should, you all know our alliance or our partnership with Microsoft, um, and uh, we um, have in now addition and a new big partnership announcement at uh, the Synergy in Barcelona. <coughs> it's about Cisco. Um, I think that most of you already know Cisco VXI and uh, Citrix Scan Desktop. Citrix VXI is a a valid, a validate design guide behind uh, Citrix, uh, Cisco VXI is a validate design guide between Cisco components, uh, NetApp components, and um, Citrix, Citrix and Desktop, Oxenet. And we have a uh, partnership with Cisco since a few a few months uh, with uh, Cisco WAS. It's a um, similar product to the Citrix branch repeater. And uh, the Cisco WAS is, uh, has also the, um, the technology to um, optimize our ICA protocol. Only the branch, <coughs> branch repeater and the Cisco WAS is, uh, uh, has a possibility to optimize the Citrix ICA protocol. Um, one year later, it's enough. And, uh, the new three uh, building block, uh, the three big building blocks is the mobile work styles, cloud orchestration, and cloud networking. So mobile work styles, the first point is also the same stuff as we already have with Cisco uh, uh, VXI, the uh, validated design guide about our um, cooperation uh, between the uh, collaboration tools from Cisco, um, the VXI technologies, and the MediaNet. Uh, in combination with our Cloud Gateway share file in Synapse and Desktop. That is a very big uh, building block in this point um, for better experience, for seamless security, and so on. The new points um, are Cloud Networking and uh, Cloud Orchestration. Uh, the Cloud Networking points are the, uh, the integration of the Citrix NetScaler into the, Citrix, uh, into the Cisco um, design. Um, perhaps uh, some of you already heard uh, Cisco announced a few weeks ago the um, end of sales for their application delivery controller, application firewall. The Cisco will no uh, longer um, sell their um, application delivery controller. They recommend now the Citrix uh, NetScaler with this uh, with the application um, uh, firewall. Uh, Part. Yeah. So it's very important now we have a big step into the Cisco uh, networking designs with our Citrix NetScaler um, to, um, to enhance the Cisco networking designs with our technology. And there's also another point, another imp uh, important point. 
This is a, a sign for the Netscaler SDX. And uh, you see all the virtual machines of the uh, Netscaler SDX. The, uh, the Netscaler SDX is a Netscaler platform, and on this Netscaler platform, um, there is a, is a possibility to run uh, different virtual machines to, uh, to separate networks, but also to integrate another vendors. Yeah? Uh, we have uh, an integration on the SDX platforms into, I already think Veeam is also um, in this uh, now, but now also uh, it's a possibility to integrate the Cisco components into the Netscaler SDX platform. That's not all finished now. I think we are at the beginning of the uh, big partnership, of the big technical partnership uh, with Cisco, and I think we have to wait a few more months uh, and uh, wait for announcements, uh, what all, everything, what all uh, are, uh, come in the next um, uh, next weeks. Yeah. So, please have a mind, Cisco, Citrix and Microsoft, and the new part, additional to the Microsoft partnership, is Citrix and Cisco. Yeah. Um, that will be the future, um, that we will have a very big um, partnership with Cisco in the next few weeks, months, uh, and years, and so on. Yeah. The summary of all of the uh, Synergy Barcelona is uh, we have a, a, a great overview um, about the several points, a social collaboration, go to meeting and so on, data sharing, share file, enterprise mobility, uh, cloud gateway enterprise, Windows as a service, um, uh, Xen desktop, Xen app, uh, cloud networking, Netscaler, and cloud platforms, our cloud products. Yeah? Mm -hmm. These are all our, um, all our over, over, uh, unser overview um, about the um, Citrix technologies. And that all stands for Citrix as a summary. Yeah? So, okay, no more minutes left. Um, okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for a short uh, overview about uh, the Synergy summary. We are in the next uh, hours also stay here at the event. And tomorrow, we have tomorrow a Cloud Gateway Enterprise workshop uh, with Oliver Lombeck and Ronald Quest. And uh, on Sunday morning, I also uh, half an hour share file technical uh, update. Thanks a lot. And I think now it's lunchtime. <laughs>